All right, everybody, this is the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate uh, tutorial in our Citra tutorial overview. Um, so far, we've covered building Citra and making it a portable emulation build. Um, we have talked about uh, getting Monster Hunter 3U set up and running um, in its most optimized form. And now we're going to go over Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. <clears throat> 4 Ultimate uh, fortunately runs the best out of all three games and doesn't require a lot of setup. So we're going to go ahead and open up our tutorial page, or our tutorial um, uh, Citra build. So you'll open your uh, Citra folder, go to Games, and then you're going to drag and drop both your Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate game, and you're going to drop your Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate uh, update version 1.1. That is the most updated version of the game you're going to pull from your 3DS. And then you're going to go ahead and open Citra. You'll see here Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is identified as being in your games library. The first thing that you're going to want to do <coughs> is come over to File, and then you're going to install CIA. This is going to be your uh, update. Citra has a really nice tool. It's ready to go. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Update 1.1. Open. And boom, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate has now been updated. You're now ready to go. Your performance codes here are reliant on having version 1.1, so make sure that you have this installed. Now, we're going to go ahead and install or apply our Monster Hunter 4 U performance codes. You're going to right click on Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and you're going to come down to properties. And over here, you're going to cheats. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and add our no dithering code. And I don't have this properly labeled. This is technically a 3D off code as well as no dithering. So in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, there is a 3D off option in the uh, main menu options. That isn't available in 4 Ultimate. So this code does both 3D off and it removes dithering. So we're gonna definitely apply that, hit check. And then we're gonna throw our bloom off in there as well. As I said before, the Monster Hunter performance codes, uh, textures and mods, all will be linked in the video description. So you can get this notepad full of all of my notes here. Um, I'll have a download link for it in the description and then you can just copy and paste. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that. The last thing, and we'll, we'll, we'll revisit this in a minute. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate runs at a native 60 FPS and it runs very well on Citra. The game is a bit intensive with some of the graphics. So if you have lower end hardware, I have an optional 30 FPS code um, that may make the game uh, playable for you if you just can't quite hit 60 FPS, if your game is stuttering or struggling and not quite able to keep a solid frame time go ahead and th throw this 30 FPS code in here and give that a shot if you're on lower end hardware. The last thing I wanna do is go ahead and adjust um, our graphics just a little bit. So you're gonna go to emulation, configure, and then go to graphics right here at our native resolution. We don't need that to be 400 by 240. Uh, this can be three times native for most systems if you click this and your 30 FPS isn't allowing you to play at 30 FPS, you can drop this back down to native, but three times at 720p should be playable on most systems. Um, if not, you can always drop it down even further. Uh, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and open the game just for a minute to create a save file and we'll, we'll replace uh, we'll replace the save data with um, my own save just so we can get into game uh, and start looking at the graphics. So open save data location real quick, go to my for you and replace. All right, so let's take a look at the graphics performance as is. At three times graphics with your 3D off, um, your 3D, your no dithering, and your remove bloom, the game looks very good. 
and running at a native 60 FPS is very enjoyable. So right out of the box, we only have two performance codes and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is ready to go. Um, game looks great and I have played like this on lower end hardware my laptop and checked it out and it, it works really well. If you have higher end hardware, we have some options for you. So you're gonna go ahead and stop this. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to the description of, of this video and download your Monster Hunter 4 textures. Once you have this downloaded, we can go ahead and apply a texture overhaul to the game. We'll go to your open mods location, and then you're gonna drag and drop this Monster Hunter 4 U textures here and hit extract here. This may take some time, um, especially with this most recent Monster Hunter 4 texture overhaul. Um, the uh, HD or Monster Hunter Classic HD Project uh, team just did a PNG conversion of their JPEG upscale. Um, Citra is now moving to a PNG system for their textures, and uh, that has expanded the size of the texture files for most of these games. Once that is uh, extracted and moved to your folder, you're gonna go to emulation, configure, in graphics, you're going to use custom textures. That just enables those textures that you just extracted to run. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure async custom texture loading is there. Long story short, it allows those uh, textures to be loaded with as minimal impact to your system as possible. Um, the old way to do that was preload custom textures, but with how large our texture files are these days, it's just not feasible. So async custom texture loading and use custom textures. That's that's your go-to. Now, lastly, you can crank that resolution as high as your game can handle it. Mine can handle 10 times native at 4K. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit OK, and then we're gonna check out and see the difference in game. Mm, my textures have not applied. <laughs> so we're going to double check. Uh, properties, cheats, everything's good there. Emulation, configure, graphics, use custom textures. We'll uncheck that and we'll check it one more time. And uh, custom texture location. Ah, that's what I did wrong. I simply opened the wrong file. I think I opened texture dump or mods location. Yes. So we're going to X that and then open custom textures. There we go. Move those over. Make sure you don't do that. Make sure you get them in open custom texture location. You'll be good to go. Ah, there we go. Textures are now fully applied. We get a new screen, and now the game looks stunning. Uh, most of these texture applications I absolutely adore. Um, the the upscale makes in-game look like it's on a completely different console. Uh, this looks like you know a, a title that it could have come out in the last couple of years rather than you know almost ten years ago. I, I guess not that far back, but still, uh, the the texture packs are phenomenal, and they they run well if you have the hardware for it. So now that you have completely upgraded your system to look as clean as possible, the last thing we have is multiplayer. Um, you can come to our multiplayer tab, go to direct connect to room, and then you're going to have your server address be 192.168.192.2. This stays consistent and um, you will need to have zero tier installed. We have a, a tutorial video on that, but that's what this IP address is. It's our uh, zero tier server to or our zero tier server IP. Um, our port is what's going to change. For 3U, we're using port 30,001 to 30,003. For 4U, it's 40,001 to 40,003. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. Um, so room one is 40,001, room two, and room three. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit connect and boom, you are now in Monster Hunter 4U Hall 1. Um, if you have zero tier installed and ready to go, it's that simple. Um, there's really no snag. You just input our IP in the port and then you're ready. Um, there are three rooms available. Uh, so if you have one of those rooms filled up, don't have a problem with it. You can move to another. 
in game you're going to go to gathering hall and i do i do believe you can do this in the the main part of the village you you can pretty much do this anywhere you want in four ultimate but you're going to come down to world map in your bottom right hand corner you're going to hit solo multiplayer and then you're going to hit local play now you have the option between creating a gathering hall and finding a gathering hall um whoever is going to be the host they create then everyone else hits find gathering hall and everyone will be able to join on that person um and just like that we have created a gathering hall uh everyone else would then of course go world map solo multiplayer local play um and if I do that, it'll disconnect me, but they'll go to local play and then they'll um, go to join a room and you will be ready for online multiplayer. That concludes everything about Monster Hunter 4U. It's a little bit more streamlined than 3U. You don't have the CPU clock things that you need to worry about in the pre-rendered cutscenes, uh, and you don't have the mod issues. Um, this game runs fairly smooth. And if you wanna run it even on lower end hardware, you can always give the 30 FPS code a try. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.